Uh, good evening everyone. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel and uh, guys I want to update about the Tingo. Uh, Tingo today guys went to ne negative <clears throat> went to almost a negative it's negative 18 plus 7 which is Tingo today guys went to negative 25 percent because pre-market guys Tingo was 5 percent and 7 percent was to seven percent and then later it dropped to negative 18 which is uh, 25 or uh, what's going on with the tingo guys so tingo uh, news uh, they postpone the first thing before they postpone guys uh, earnings uh, i'm going to read uh, i think uh, uh, the hinder pack uh, tweeted something and then next talk has uh, melted from 1.74 coming down because guys have all uh after all chats over here we had the uh, resistance because i i did video today i say tingo we had resistance at 170 or 174 and above we tested here we tested today pre-market and then what happened? Boom news, and uh, short sellers. Most of the investors get worried, and then they sell, and then they finally, and then stock was trading between one point five and above, and that's why I did my, uh, I put somewhere here something like a uh, resist. Uh, I was watching because you we were above here. This was my support because guys. We say last week, all of the last week, this area was resistant, and it's, this was supposed to be our support, which is 1.5. And guys, what's happened? When the company announced, guys, uh, that they are going to postpone earnings, because you see over here, they say Tingo Group, say company has rescheduled earnings, conference call, uh, and 10Q filing. So guys, the company came out and they say we are going to post our rescheduling earnings, which will be next week, guys. It's not far away. It will be 21st this month, which is 10 or 11 days from now. So it's not far away. So you see Tingo, Tingo Cruise rescheduled the second quarter result conference call. It has briefing postponed uh, quarter two confirm and the filing of the form ten period ended the June uh, target. They be believed it can afford any uh, additional postponement by rescheduling conference on this August twenty first. The scheduling is to allow independent counsel additional time to complete review of the allocation for in the bank. So guys. The company tomorrow were going to, but this is this is the guys guys is keeping Tingo investors a uh, problem, and uh, we need and it's it's good company guys acknowledge that they want the better to reschedule to go to to do more research, and uh, right now guys because the market pre uh, post market came down. We don't have any technicals and uh, we are probably right now remember we, uh, today we are around 48 on rsi when stock was heating up guys that we are going to see tingo to eat four dollars tomorrow to five dollars but because of the bad news guys so in market is always either you you make profit or you lose so we are now i think tomorrow we already we are oversold right now we are below here which is guys uh it's health uh, it's health sometimes and uh, we are going to see what's going to happen tomorrow happen tomorrow and remember tomorrow guys uh jerome jerome Powell is going to speak tomorrow uh, about according to according to the red hike so guys even though uh tingo will beat the expectation under skyrocket on uh, will be skyrocket like two hours 
and then Jerome Paul will come in and then will cancel everything. So guys, let's see the stocks that uh, had earnings and then they, they, they skyrocket and then immediately they skyrocket post market and then pre market they take <laughs> they take all they gave out like you cannot able to sell it because so we saw cpi card guys they beat the expectation uh, stock ran away uh, this was uh, during the earnings because stock was going up very well like tingo and then st stock with earnings were trading around 24 it ran away to 30 dollars and then today sell off was up in the rest of the market and then stock deep not because of the technicals no it's because of how is the market right now this week any stock which are uh, doing earnings this week is going to be affected by the by tomorrow we saw sound hall we saw sound hall guys he beat the expectation he pumped around 20 something percent you see even th that 20 something percent you don't see it sound all pumped from less than a dollar to uh, 250 but uh, my chat here telling me stock is still on the downtrend we saw many stocks which is it has a good like right now either you have good earnings or bad news it's the same because um and tomorrow is everything. We have a red tag is going to post. If they're going to post, guys, Tingo, everything is going to skyrocket. And uh, we take it, guys. So it's, everything is already spiced in. You cannot sell it. It's already down 25%. And uh, it can't matter again. We need to see next week what's going on. And I, I think, guys, it's, it's, it's good. Tingo rescheduled the earnings. So that uh, uh, Jerome uh, and Red Tech uh, to pass tomorrow and then next week will resume. We saw guys Tesla, like I can't blame anything right now because we know that the market is bad. See Tesla guys, dumping after this earnings. He did earning, Tesla did everything from 300 to 240. It's already negative. How much? negative around 60 something yeah almost 60 68 not 60 but uh yeah between 50 and uh, 58 so we came another stock that is already uh, we saw apple guys ever like whenever i see the uh, thing was coming down i don't feel that bad because when you see like Apple is market cap is uh, almost three trillion dollars, how you see it's falling from two hundred. It's huge, guys. Market cap dropping. You see the sixty million um, was out uh, like uh, uh, trading activity was down fifty million. Which which another thing, guys. Let's see, let's see this, let's see the, uh, this talk. Um, um, okay, I'm trying to find, but I don't see it. And uh, guys, I don't mind to say, we take it, we take it, we, anything happen on Tingo today, we take uh, either on positive side or a negative side and uh, yeah so this is the what guys I was expecting Tingo when I was doing video before this was I was aiming Tingo to hit, hit this area and then after there we can come to find the support here you can reach someone here and then but now everything that you see after there guys is not that's not the target right now so we are going to see what's going to happen so uh on tingo before i finish on tingo so when you see stock is around somewhere right now i believe guys is going to test the downtrend uh, remember guys this was the uh, downtrend resistance and after we break it we find that the uptrend support 
but because already we break it now we are going to see tomorrow guys i'm going to do about thing again we are going to see maybe it's going to touch this area there are a few guys i did maybe oh yeah i did it let me show you in 45 minutes yeah this is what i did guys so if you have been watching my technical this is what i did and uh, i say we are going to watch this area 234 and if we break 234 we are going to see oh no <laughs> 134 or why i say so guys so this is the part of the uh things that i was watching and on four yeah so this is what i was watching and uh, today we came to 226 yeah and uh, we are going to wait guys if this stock will come but it's already bounces and uh, it's, it's it's now coming back it's digesting news Bye guys.